You've seen the pictures. Oh, sick and injured mm. dogs, they're trapped in cages. It's made a lot of people ask, why does it take so long for police to act in these kinds of cases? Our reveal investigation into Georgia's puppy mills continues to push for solutions. And one idea, certainly working in another state. Rebecca Lindstrom now takes us along for a ride with a Pennsylvania police officer who has only one job, and that is to stop animal cruelty. Pennsylvania is a picturesque state of rivers, farm fields, and houses that dot the hills. I've lived here my entire life. But humane law enforcement officer Jennifer Neals warns all that glitters isn't gold. These woods, they hide so much. Neal says the ugly truth is that down these long winding driveways is too often an animal suffering. We can't do our job without the community being able to look out for the animals too and reporting what they see. Humane officers are hired by nonprofits, in her case, the Pennsylvania SPCA, but they have police know, authority to enforce the state's animal cruelty laws. In many communities, they are the only ones that do. So we have arresting powers, we do search warrants, we give out charges as well, we go to court. While she does need local permission to investigate potential crimes, she is not bound by city or county jurisdictions. Tips range from a farmer accused of neglecting his injured draft horse. I ordered veterinary care within the next 48 hours for the horse. To a small-scale breeder. Right here it is. Tethering his dog 24 hours a day, a violation of Pennsylvania's law. The tips get her on property where she is always looking for other concerns. In this case, kennel structures and the sound of dogs. She makes a note to verify it's licensed. Just to be sure, you know, they're on the up and up. The PSPCA says having someone independent that is dedicated to nothing but animal cruelty is important. The animal is not going to provide us with information on who did what to them at that moment. And being able to make assessments based upon how the animal is acting, the physical condition of the animal, those are all things that you have to be able to consistently be trained on. Sergeant Nicole Wilson leads the PSPCA's program. She says better training leads to better prosecution. Many of our animal neglect cases also have a component of other people being neglected as well, whether it is an elderly member of the family, whether it is children within the household. You know, when you're talking about animal fighting, you have obviously the drugs and the guns involved. Neil says the job comes with a lot of responsibility. It is physically and emotionally exhausting. No matter how heart-wrenching it is, I don't think I could imagine myself in a different position. All right, Rebecca, so tell us, do we have anything like this in Georgia? We do, but mainly in the metro. We have dedicated officers that are doing nothing but looking at animal cruelty. But in Pennsylvania, those officers, they're more multi-jurisdictional, kind of like our GBI. Mm -hmm. And they are able to go into those areas that can't or just won't enforce the state's animal cruelty laws. But is there any interest in getting something in Georgia like we've seen you cover the past two nights? And we've talked about a number of things. Senator Kay Kirkpatrick says she is going to take a look at all of these, see what really makes sense for Georgia. So if you have a feeling on this one way or the other, I mean, now is the time to make your voice heard. All right. Thank you so much, Rebecca. If you have any questions about Rebecca's investigation, we have answers. She's hosting uh, an, an Ask Me Anything session on Reddit right now. You can go to you slash 11 Alive ATL to submit your questions. Look at all those questions coming in.